on the IAPA show floor. I am coming to you with Claire Haynes Jr., president of Great Coasters International, some of our favorite coasters, right? And we're literally in the train. <laughs> Excited to share a little bit of insight with you about what's happening in their booth today and throughout the show. So Claire, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Happy to share a little bit. And you have three cars in your booth this year. Yes. But I noticed in addition, there's some lights. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? It is. I like it. It's a new touch. Um, we have a client in China right now that um, we sold them the Millennium Flyers for the one of the rides, and it had to have lights on it. Lights on the sides and lights underneath. Uh, so it's a good thing because it means they're going to be open in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a good, great, great attachment, and uh, so I wanted to put it on the Infinity Flyers, and now it's able to go anywhere. So this was a great addition. Um, we've done the audio in the past and didn't really do so well, but okay. the lights uh, is going to be no problem. Very nice. And so have you gotten some interest from other parks this absolutely, week? Absolutely. Absolutely. It is unbelievable the, the, the way it's, it's coming around, and, and we're going to see a lot of this. And can you add it on to existing cars or only yes. onto new? Nope. It can be done on other cars. Uh, there's there's going to be some adjustments that have to be done, but yes, it can be added. Yes. All right. Nice. I like that. A new twist. And so on this one, we have round lights, but I saw strip lights on that one, right? Yes. Yes. So lots of variety to choose from. Yes. That is very true. And also different colors. Oh. So you can, you can have them interchanging. You can, they can change throughout the ride, whatever. So it's, yeah, all that can be added. Yep. All right. I'm going to pause for one second. Um, we're going to edit this out. I'm sorry. There is a phone call coming into my phone, and it needs to be answered. Can you call her back? It's the dog getting dropped off to Molina. <laughs> God help me. The that things was good. I'm navigating. Because <laughs> I know the dog's supposed to get dropped off of my house at 1230. It's 1230. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Still playing mom. All right. Back to Claire. <laughs> So, what else has been going on in the booth this year? What are you sharing with those that are looking for something fresh? Anything else going on? Well, we have our new steel track. Um, we're now showing it here at the show. Okay. Um, we have already our first piece that we installed last year during the COVID over at Fun Spot. And the remarks, the how it's provide, how it's working, um, what we designed works. Let's put it that way. And we have been on there for over a year. Um, everybody's wanting it now. So it is, it's, it's unbelievable right now. We're, we're selling it like hotcakes. Right. And, and the proposals are going out. Now the, now the question is, can we get the material? That's where we're having our biggest problem right now, to get the materials um, and timeline. So um, I, see it, I see this all come to play. Um, we're gonna have a, a lot going on this year uh, for this coming spring. So we have one, one big ride, and we have a second one that's on the edge right now because we don't know if we can get the materials. Um, but as far as the rebranding of some rides, yes, that is going to happen. I'm hoping to be signing contracts here uh, within the next month or two. So the goal is to get it done in a month um, just because we need the time to build the ride. But uh, everything is moving forward very quickly, very rapidly, and I will say, Everybody at this show this year have got to, has gotten to see just how really good this, this year has turned out to be. I mean, it is fantastic. Everybody is having a great year so far. My third show for the year, I uh, was in the Saudi and an EAS show, and it was fantastic, fantastic. So it made the, you know, the show floor may look a little empty, but the right people are here, and I am very happy. That is great to hear. As coaster enthusiasts, we want you to be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So tell us, who is the ideal client for your still track? Actually, anybody. Okay. Um, so the, the reason we brought the still track in was, one, was to be able to do elements on the ride, vertical okay. or, or loops or, or corkscrews or whatever. But um, it's also that we can go in if there's a problem on a wooden coaster somewhere that they're, they're just having a hard time with repairing it or whatever we can go in take that section out and put that steel in there and connect it on both sides so it's it's no big deal so anybody can use this 
and it's not going to change the the aesthetics of the ride or or the nature of the ride. You're just trying to solve a problem. Maintenance is a big problem, and mm -hmm. we don't want to see that happen. We hate hearing about unscheduled maintenance. So we're always looking at new ideas and new things to do to solve these problems. And so your soul track, not you're not necessarily replacing the entire coaster. You can go in and patchwork. Yes, we can. But what we have right now, we're, we got a couple of patchworks to do this year, but um, we also have the rebranding of the complete ride too. So um, things are really stepping up for us right here. And uh, we're excited. We're really excited. Sounds like we're going to be seeing a lot from GCI in the coming year. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd say you're going to see it for the next five for sure right now. Wow. That's how far we're out right now. That is really exciting for the coast enthusiast world. Yes. Now, I know we heard a lot about creativity and really just take, get, just take a step back during the pandemic, during that quarantine time, we heard about a lot of businesses that were able, since they weren't out and just getting work done, you were able to step back and refocus on the business. Did anything come from that time of just slowing down for y'all? Well, we were already busy at the time <laughs> because a lot of places we couldn't get to because of the pandemic. Um, so we got, we finished our ride in Dubai and um, I am about a month, month and a half away on finishing a project over in Vietnam. Right now we have two to do in China and I can't get there. Um, and we have about four to five right now, right on the edge of signing the contracts. So and it's, it's worldwide, it's not just mm -hmm. in one location. But um, with the pandemic, it allowed us to open our eyes and develop new ideas and new things. And uh, we, we put some really great illustrations together and come up with some good ideas and, and we've been passing them along and it's doing really well. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see and, and I think people are gonna be really happy when they see what we're bringing, bringing to the table. What do, you, what do you think of what's coming coaster enthusiasts will be most excited about? Any particular elements that we're gonna see integrated or Anything fun you. you can give us a secret? I can't tell you. Oh, I promise you, you will be happy. Um, I don't know if anybody's been down to ride the Texas Stingray. That ride is fantastic. And, and that, it, what's funny is um, you got the competitors that, um, that still go to other competitors' parks and they just love the ride and it makes them want to have the same thing. Texas Stingray really, really opened the, the doors up for a lot of things because of the type of materials we're using. But the twisting, it's a disorienting ride. So basically when you're riding, you don't have no idea where you're at. I mean, it's, it is downright fantastic. And it's really took us to the next step and we're going, it's, it's just gonna go much, much further than that. That is great, Claire, wow. So what goals do you have coming in the next five years of things that you like to achieve? Making more <laughs> families, children happier. I mean, that, that's, that's what this is all about. It's, it's to have fun. And after having a year of lockdown, everybody handcuffed to their home, um, the people, the, the, the clientele, everybody want to have fun. And that's all this is all about. You, you, you work, you, you go to school, or you, you have to wake up in the morning. A lot of kids don't like to wake up in the morning, but <laughs> getting able to go out there and have some fun. And that's, just, that's what everybody here at this show is here to do, is to make everybody have mm -hmm. fun. That's, you know, you know we, always, we always say, you know, people want to have a finicular, okay? It'd be nice to have a finicular and, and you know, like Jeff Pike from Skyline always says, you know, that's why they have the word fun on the front of it because it's fun with the funicular. So this is what this is all about. And I want to see happy faces, you know, uh, I mean, my party on Wednesday night over a fun spot for my, for the white lightning, there was a lot of kids there, a lot of younger generation and the, the smiles in her face, it was just phenomenal. And, and it's like uh, your colleagues, um, Bonnie and, and her husband, they're 80 some years old and they're still riding White Lightning. And I think they rode it 10 times that night. I mean, it's, this is what it's all about. That's what this industry is all about, is the fun. And the people just really enjoy it and love it. 
You're right, and that's it. it. It's something that brings every generation together. Absolutely. It's something that the whole family can enjoy together. It's one of those things that really keeps the families moving forward Absolutely. together. Absolutely, and in a historical part of the wooden coasters, you know, our moms and dads and their moms and dads met on a wooden coaster or something at amusement park and that's what this is for keeping this generation going keeping this this trend going and and yeah sure we're taking the next step and, and changing things but you're still having fun and it's a story it's still a historical thing it is and the classic roots are still there they're hidden in every coaster yes because they all it's an evolution of technology absolutely absolutely yeah. yes oh. great Claire. great Thank you so much for your insight, sharing some with American Coaster enthusiasts and our viewers. We always love having you and appreciate you being one of our corporate members. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And keep your eyes open, please. Good things are coming. <laughs>